Hi guys, welcome back to Nixie DIY Crafts. The supplies that you will need to make this project are a piece of cardstock that measures six by seven, a piece of acetate that measures two three quarter by three. You will need a two inch circle punch, a scoreboard, bone folder, the embellishments that you will use to decorate your pocket, and wet glue. Let's get started. First step is to score your cardstock. My cardstock measures six inches by seven inches. In the description box below, I will include all the measurements and your score lines. On the seven inch side, your first score is gonna be at two and a half, and then five and a half. You're gonna flip your cardstock, and on the six inch side, you're going to score at three quarters. You're going to fold on all your scores using your bone folder to have a nice crease line. Your next step is you are going to trim the two edges. So you're going to cut this square and that square. What I like to do is cut a little below the score line. And you're gonna cut all the way up to the score line that intersects. Okay. So same, cut right below the score line, up to the line. Then I like to cut this piece at an angle. I'm gonna fold just to make sure that I can, that I have a good seal here to make sure that I cut good. If you have these little things that stick out, you can just trim those at this point. Okay. Now you're going to take your two inch circle punch and you're going to align it in between the two folds. You're going to bring the punch as far down as you can and punch. Save this circle for another project. Now we're ready to add our adhesive. I'm going to use a combination of wet glue and tape. I have a template here to help me add my glue to my project. For the square here, this is where it's gonna create your window. You're gonna use your acetate and attach it with, I'm gonna use white glue. The other three lines, I'm going to use tape strips. So I'm gonna add tape strips first and I'll leave my template here. And I go over my scored lines like that. I'm going to add adhesive to the shorter side. Just like that. And now to the flap. To the flap, I'm going to go over. Now I'm going to add my wet glue to add my acetate sheet. An acetate sheet is just a clear sheet and I usually keep it attached to a white piece of paper or any piece of paper just so it doesn't get lost on my desk. Press down. Okay. Give that a good press. Now we're going to remove the strips. 
and start to seal our envelope. I like to press down my wider side first and then my shorter side because then the shorter side will fall in the middle, just like that. This piece, you're not gonna peel off. You will peel that off when you are ready to seal your envelope. Now to the fun part, decorate your envelope. These are the pieces I will be using in today's project. This embellishment we had created on a previous video. I'm gonna use this strip that says name and date. We'll attach this to the back of our envelope and this measures two three quarters by one and one quarter. And then my tiny phrase. We're gonna add our strip below our window and try to center that the best you can. And my embellishment to the top. I'm running out of glue. Just like that, press down. And to the back, I will attach my name and date. Again, measuring at two, three quarter by one and one fourth. Once you add your baby's hair in here, then you can peel off the strip and seal it. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this project. Thank you for watching.